This episode of The Young Turks is brought to you by Gamefly. Go to Gamefly.com slash TYT for your free trial membership. Well, people on both sides of the political divide have strong feelings about the WikiLeaks cables and the people who leaked them. But our friend Cenk Uger has noticed a bit of a double standard from an outspoken few. The subject of his daily rant. The floor is yours, sir. Well, thank you, Dylan. All right, now all of a sudden, Republicans and conservatives are outraged about leaks. And boy, they're not playing. Uh, look at uh, some of the very strong words that some of these Republican and conservative leaders have to say. For example, let's start with Mike Huckabee. Of course, he ran for president. And this is what he said about Manning, the intelligence analyst who leaked this stuff uh, in regards to WikiLeaks. He said, quote, whoever in our government leaked that information is guilty of treason. And I think anything less than execution is too kind of a penalty. So his uh, thoughts on this are incredibly clear. Execution. Well, he's not alone, of course. Bill O'Reilly is going to join in. He's also going to talk about Julian Assange, too. Let's watch that. Whoever leaked all those State Department documents to the WikiLeaks website is a traitor and should be executed or put in prison for life. I'd like to see a little yeah. drone hit Assange, he's, right? He, oh, you want to get I think he's, I think he's a bad guy. All right, so a drone on Assange would also be an execution for him. Executions for everybody, even though he's a journalist. And Bill O'Reilly is on Fox News Channel, theoretically. All right, well, somebody else on Fox News Channel, who's also a Republican contender for president, is Sarah Palin. And she also had choice words for Assange. Let's go to her quote. She said, he is anti-American operative with blood on his hands. His past postings of classified documents revealed the identity of more than 100 Afghan sources to the Taliban. Why was he not pursued with the same urgency we pursue al-Qaeda and Taliban leaders? So Julian Assange, for printing stuff that was leaked and giving us all this new information that, you know, you, as you're doing all week long, Dylan, make a lot out of, we learn a lot from, and that uh, probably tells us, you know, where we stand on uh, the Iraq war, the Afghanistan war, et cetera. And he should be hunted down like al-Qaeda. Right, well, that's interesting. One last one here. George W. Bush was uh, doing an interview with uh, Facebook's founder, Mark Zuckerberg, and he had this to say about WikiLeaks. Quote, leaks are very damaging, and people who leak ought to be prosecuted. Now, that's very curious, because George W. Bush had a perfect opportunity to bring the full brunt of the law on a leaker. That leaker's name was Scooter Libby, the chief of staff for the vice president at the time. And he chose not to. In fact, this is what he did about Libby after Libby leaked the identity of Valerie Plame, a, a secret operative for the CIA. Bush said, quote, I respect the jury's verdict, but I have concluded that the prison sentence given to Mr. Libby is excessive. Therefore, I am commuting the portion of Mr. Libby's sentence that required him to spend 30 months in prison. Funny, it turns out Assange and, and, and Manning should be executed, but Scooter Libby should be let off entirely without any jail time whatsoever, even though the president, former president, and all these conservatives pretend to care about leaks. And remember this, when Libby leaked, he endangered the life of a CIA operative and all of her contacts. Right now, they have produced no evidence of anybody's life who has been endangered by these leaks. Sarah Palin just says it out of hand as if it's true, but there's been no evidence whatsoever. Now, I want to come back finally to Huckabee, because Huckabee is the guy who started all this execution talk. Now, did he feel the same way about Scooter Libby? Did he think the vice president's chief of staff should have been executed? Funny enough, he didn't. Look at this. He said, quote, I think the president acted appropriately in exercising his power of clemency for Scooter Libby. As the president noted, Mr. Libby still has to pay his fine of $250,000 and serve two years of probation. The president acted compassionately towards Mr. Libby, his wife, and children while showing respect for the judicial process. So, of course, for Libby, who's a conservative, and doing this, what he did, for a completely political reason, having nothing to do with educating the American people, he should get compassion, he should get probation. But when somebody else does a leak that actually clarifies what we're actually doing in these wars and what we think about it and how futile we think it is. Well, no, 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 the government can't have that. We can't have the truth. Those people should get executed. So that, I mean, if that ain't hypocrisy, I don't know what is. Cenk, people don't know this about me, but I'm an underground gamer. 
I you like, are. I love to play video games. Well, then but you're going to love our new sponsor, Gamefly. They're the largest online video game rental service in the world. 7,000 titles, new and classic. Also, no late fees, no due dates, shipping's always free. Go to Gamefly.com slash TYT for a free trial membership.